Krishna, welcome to Chirgat. This is the second day of our uh, Parikrama here in Vrindavan, 2019. There's 300 or 400 enthusiastic devotees. We've come here to try to let the Dham touch our hearts. And as usual, we don't go to many places, but we just stay in one place. And today we heard a very beautiful lecture by Srila Gurudev um, on the pastimes and the unalloyed love of the gopis. We hear that the name gopi actually comes from the word gup or gupta, which means to hidden. So because they keep their love hidden in their hearts, uh, therefore they're called gopis. But even though it's hidden in their hearts, it, it's, it's still, it comes out. So, as always, the best way to enter into these, the special mood of these places is to break beyond the covering and the external layers, which aren't always so beautiful. The best way to go into, to actually enter into Vrindavan is, is through the ears. So we got to hear the wonderful pastimes as explained by Vishwanath, Chakravarti Thakur and Jiva Goswami. And they conclude by saying that uh, Krishna actually had no desire to uh, see the gopis in this way, but he was just, this pastime reveals their unalloyed love. So by Kirtan, by the Association of Devotees, we, even though these, uh, this Leela is, is far beyond our means to fully understand still their unalloyed devotional sentiments can touch our hearts in some way and through this parikrama we can uh, gradually progress on the spiritual path gradually release our desire to live in this material world and to be with Krishna. Uh, of course this place is uh, still a village so it's very beautiful and we can, as we come through the village, we see how the people are very simple and they're naturally devoted to Krishna. They took their birth here. They sing about Radha and Krishna from their childhood. 
So that's also very inspiring to have their association. At this place, Chirgat, the gopis, the young, young gopi girls, they were four or five years old. Although they're just young girls, they had this desire, which was actually a very mature desire, to have Krishna as their husband. All of them develop the same desire at the same time. And gradually they come, came to, knew that, to know that all of them had this desire. Vrinda Devi kindly instructed them how to achieve this desire to have Krishna as their husband. So they worshipped Katyayani with a great, great vow for one month and performed austerities and chanted beautiful mantras to uh, appease her, to get her blessings. And then at the end of that month, they finished their vow and they were taking their bath right here uh, in the Jamuna River in this place, this Chirgat. And it was there that Krishna came with his young, young cowherd boys, two, three-year-old cowherd boys, and stole their clothes and climbed the tree. And uh, thus he accepted them as their husbands, uh, accepted them as his wives, and they got Krishna as their husband. So it's a very beautiful pastime. And again, Krishna had no, there's no lust, there's no tinge of material desires, but it's just to reveal the unalloyed love of the gopis. So that happened here, and we can feel a little bit of that devotion by the Lord's mercy, and we're grateful to Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev for bringing us to this place. Hare Krishna.
govinda, he gopala. My Krishna, during this auspicious month of Kartik, our Kartik Parikrama has come to Kamyavan, one of the uh, 12 main forests in Sri Vrindavan Dham. Actually, the scriptures say that of all the 12 forests of Vrindavan, uh, Kamyavan is actually the largest. It has a perimeter of 20 kilometers. And from time immemorial, it's, it's been a holy place. We could go on for hours <laughs> about all the transcendental activities and pastimes that have taken place here. Of course, this is a place where Radha and Krishna um, had many of their transcendental uh, pastimes. Devotees come here um, because Kamyavan is that forest which fulfills all of one's spiritual desires. Kama, Kama can be translated as lust, but it can also be taken as transcendental love. Just like Sri Rupa Goswami says, as young boys are attracted to young girls, and young girls are attracted to young boys with the same intensity, but in a transcendental way, may I be attracted to your lotus feet, my dear Lord. So lust is supposed to turn into transcendental love. So when we say Kamyavan, it means that forest where one can come and fulfill all of one's spiritual desires. At this point in our lives as aspiring devotees, um, we're still conquering our material desires, but by the mercy of Sridhar Prabhupada and our Acharyas, we know uh, what the spiritual desires are deep in our heart. First of all, to become a good disciple of our spiritual master, to serve the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and one day to awaken that prema, that love of God that is deep within our hearts, that love for Radha and Krishna. So devotees come here, and in a variety of ways they, they pray, to fulfill those uh, spiritual desires that we hear about in Shastra, from Guru Shastra and Sadhu. It's a very nice place to come because this is a very historical place for Gaudiya Vaishnavas, particularly because when there were foreign invasions uh, in India, well, for millennium actually, but specific specifically 500 years ago, the deities uh, in Vrindavan were in peril so the Goswamis and their followers removed those deities during one particular attack, one very vicious attack where the invaders wanted to break the temples and destroy the deities. And the beloved deities of the Acharya, specifically um, Govindaji, Madan Mohan and Gopinath, they were brought here to Kamivan. Actually first they went to Radhika and they stayed seven years, hidden there. And after some time, they came here to, to Kamyavan. And along with Govindaji came uh, Vrindadevi. As we know, Vrindadevi is one of the five personalities who grants entrance into and residence in Sri Vrindavan Dham. She's very important to all uh, Gaudiya Vaishnavas. She also is an assistant of Purnamasi. Mother Purnamasi Yogamaya, she organizes um, all the uh, pastimes of Radha and Krishna in, in great detail, so Vrindadevi helps her. And we know that we pray to Vrindadevi 
regularly or daily in her form of Tulsi Devi uh, in, in, in this material world to become an eternal servant of, of Radha and Krishna. So that original deity, you could say the original deity of Vrinda Devi was established by Brajanav, the great-great-grandson of Krishna. When Krishna left and devotees were feeling separation, he installed a number of deities, Krishna and Balaram, different deities around Vrindavan, and he established the deity of Vrinda Devi. Again, the invasions came, so the deity was placed in a kund, in Brahmakund, and 500 years ago, Rupa Goswami, and when he was in Vrindavan, he found Vrinda Devi, and again, the invaders came, so she was moved out to uh, Kambivan. At some point, uh, Govindaji, Madan Mohan, and Gopinath, they were to be taken to Jaipur for further protection. The city of Jaipur was actually built for Govindadev and the other deities as well. But when the devotees tried to move Vrindadevi from Kamyavan, she wouldn't go. She wouldn't cross the frontier. She so much wanted to stay here. As she said, Baladeva Vajibhusana quotes her to um, always increase the devotees' faith in Sri Vrindavan Dham. She took a vow, I will never leave. She said, Krishna may come, Krishna may go, but I will always remain here for the devotees to help them increase their love and devotion for Radha and Krishna. So that's a high point in visiting um, Kamyavan. Many other pastimes as well. This is where Yudhishthir and his brothers came and the brothers uh, drank the poisonous water from one lake. And um, Dharmaraj, uh, he, uh, Yamaraj, he asked Yudhishthir to answer a number of questions. If he answered them quickly, qu correctly, his uh, brothers would be revived. He answered them correctly. <laughs> brothers were revived. That pastime, Dharmakun, also happened here. Again, we could go on and on. But uh, yes, we come here to fulfill our spiritual desires and to take shelter, of, particularly of, 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 of Rinda Devi. And uh, we pray that by now we're on our way out, that our hearts have been somewhat purified, our material desires have been kept at bay and our, stu our spiritual desires are much more prominent, more important to us, and we will try to fulfill them and fulfill the desires of Srila Prabhupada and our previous acharyas to share the glories of Kamyavan all over the world. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Yeah.